Hello, in this A-Frame Web VR series, we are now going to be looking at a plane. So we're going to be drawing a 2D flat plane. We'll be applying a color to it and we'll be applying a image as well. So that's it really. First of all, what we're going to do is just load the image using the Asset Manager. You can use it directly. We recommend that you actually have a look at that if you've done the image video, I mean, the, yeah, the image video, the video, video the video sphere tutorial then you should be very familiar with it but it, it is recommended that you use the built-in asset manager so let's do a dash assets and now inside here we just load our asset which happens to be an image we going to put an id and this is what we'll be using to refer to this image and using it so we're going to put texture source equals and i have an image in here called batman v superman so img for slash batman v superman not supernan <laughs> superman dot jpg and now we're first of all all we're going to do is just do a basic plane so i'm just going to put a comment here so a basic plane with a color with a color and now you just do a dash plane now you put a color and for the color i'm simply going to put red but you could put a hexadecimal value if you wanted to for more customization for the height i'm going to put 20 I'm going to put the width uh yeah 20 as well why not and now let's save that run this bad boy and okay we got some oh yeah there we go there our plane is massive i think i might be a little too near it but that's that's a okay so actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a camera because otherwise it's just gonna be too close it's just gonna be a little awkward so i'm gonna put a dash entity and in here you put a attribute position and for the value you put you can put whatever you want 1.0040 so i'm only changing it in the z axis and then inside here you put a dash camera save that bad boy refresh and as you see the plane is a little further away i just want to see what these errors are about actually Oops, lazy. So console. Apparently, you can't find. Uh, okay, first of all, it's Batman V not versus. I think that's a homage to the fact that it's the fifth sort of Batman moving out to the new ones. I know the Christopher, I know the Nolan trilogy doesn't count towards. The new DC push, but I think it's home wide because they had all fifth DC movie, half decent DC movie, I should say, because they had Batman Begin, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, then they had Man of Steel, and then they had Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. So save that, refresh. Yeah, that's fixed all the other fantastic now. So now what we're going to do is add another plane, but this time we're going to be actually using the texture. So we're going to put some comment, and this comment will say textured plane a dash plane and for the source value i'm going to put a hash texture for the height i'm going to put 20 for 20 for the width i'm going to put 20 as well and I'm actually going to comment this out because we only want one to appear. Let's refresh it. And now we have our textured plane as well. So that's how you create a plane. So yeah, there is isn't much to planes other than that, really. We've used colors, we've used images, and that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk, which consists of over 13,000 free video tutorials, so I recommend checking them out. If you want to check out the source code, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. 
you like the video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment if you didn't like it let us know as well however you want and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day